I caught my husband texting a minor. I am on an 8 hour road trip with him and don't know what to do. I'm shaking like crazy right now. We've known each other for 3 years and have been married for 6 months. He is perfect and everything I could have wanted. I thought I was living the dream for the past few years, but now everything has gone wrong. Two hours into our trip, my husband chose to stop at a gas station and get us some snacks. I stayed in the car and waited for him until I saw that Instagram had sent him a message. This shocked me because he had always been very clear that he didn't want Instagram. I opened up his phone to see what was going on. I found texts with a teenage girl when I opened it. I only saw a few, but the ones I did see were, I'm in love with you, I'm excited to see you again and him telling her she looks beautiful as he slides on her stories. I looked at her face, and it was clear that she was between 14 and 16 years old. I didn't even notice that he was hiding a secret from me. What caught my attention was that he was texting these things to someone who was too young to understand them. He came back in 10 minutes, so I didn't have time to look any further. I have no idea what to do. I feel scared, hurt, and ashamed. I have to be with him for another 6 hours, and he is starting to notice that I am acting strange. I don't want to talk to him on the road, but these hours are making me go crazy. I need to let off some steam and could use some help or something. Ike in my last post, I said that I had just fallen asleep in the car and told him I felt sick. We were going to visit my parents, and I couldn't wait to see them. But within 45 minutes, my husband woke me up and told me he had found a nearby hotel for us to stay in. He told me that he was worried about me and that he wanted me to sleep in a real bed. He also bought me drugs. At this point, I was scared because I was in a place I didn't know and he was sticking close to me. Once we were in the room and laying down, he kept putting his arms around me and kissing me. I felt sick, so I got up and went to the bathroom. I spent about an hour in the bathroom. I kept pausing to think about what to do as I read everyone's responses. I could tell that my husband was getting worried because he kept coming to check on me. He looked so worried when I came out of the bathroom, and I just needed to get everything out. I know that the best advice was not to talk to him, and I know that what I did was probably a bad idea, but I couldn't take it. I told him that I found his Instagram texts. He apologized right away and said he had wanted to tell me sooner but hadn't had time. He was sorry, but he wasn't as sorry as he could have been. So I talked to him about it and told him, what a bad apology from a pedophile. He went quiet right away. It was probably quiet for about 6 minutes before he asked me what I meant. He looked so sad when I told him. He took a big breath and told her what had happened. He said that Sarah, his 15-year-old daughter, was with me when I read his texts. He told her that she had contacted him on Facebook a year ago, and ever since then, he had been trying to get in touch with her. He said that in the first 6 months, he made sure he was the father, met her a lot, and really got to know her well. But we got married 6 months ago and he didn't want to worry me with that news or his daughter, who wasn't ready to face others. He also said that when he was 18, he went on and off with Sarah's mom, but one day she just stopped talking to him and never talked to him again. Sarah says that her mom is also strict, which is why she posted the message on Instagram so that her mom wouldn't find out right away. I was going crazy, and I knew he knew it. He then gave me his phone and let me keep scrolling. When I scrolled down, I saw that she called him dad and that she had also wished him a happy Father's Day a while back. He even promised to do another DNA test to show me. I felt bad right away. I feel bad that my mind turned harmless texts into inappropriate ones so quickly, and I also feel bad that I saw my husband in that way. I kept telling him that I was sorry about the charge, but my husband just apologized and told me it wasn't my fault. He said he got my point of view. I tried to say I was sorry, but he kept telling me it was fine. I can tell how hurt he is, though, by the way he looks at me. He said that we should both go to bed and talk more later. To be honest, I can't fall asleep because I hate myself so much. I'm not too bothered by the fact that he has a secret daughter, maybe because it's so much better than what could have happened. But I understand the situation and I'm happy for my husband because he really wants kids. But we have chosen to wait two years to grow our marriage. I feel like I just flushed everything down the toilet and don't know how to fix things. Just an hour ago, my husband woke up and we had a very long conversation. As many of you pointed out, I was wrong to come to that opinion so quickly instead of trusting my husband and talking to him right away. I should not have looked around either. My husband was hurt, but he knew why I came to that conclusion so quickly and forgave me. He's still hurt that I saw him that way, but he totally gets why I did. After that, he said he was sorry for telling lies and keeping a daughter from me. He said I should have known about his daughter before we got married, but he knew how important my wedding was and didn't want to add more stress to the situation. 
I don't blame him for not telling me before our wedding because this isn't a deal breaker for me, I would understand, and telling me before our wedding would be stressful. I do wish he had told me later, but I can understand why he didn't because the situation is hard.